feels just like home, except it's not. <laughs> Here's the 411 about homestays. Most study abroad providers give students the option as to whether they want to live in a homestay or an apartment. For students deciding on whether they want to do a homestay, I would strongly encourage it so you get that authentic feeling of being in your country. But for those students who have dietary restrictions or just really appreciate that independence when staying on their own, apartments are always an option as well. So guys, I'm here with my roommate Brooke to talk about the more social part about a homestay. So we are provided three meals a day and a weekly wash of clothes. And I would have to say my favorite part about having a roommate is having a translator, someone who has the keys when I forget them, <laughs> and someone to talk to about just anything in English. It's totally fine to be in Spanish, but when I don't know every word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's definitely comforting to have a roommate. Um, we both like weren't expecting to have a roommate. We didn't request one or anything. And I was I was hoping I'd get one just but like I didn't think that was a very common thing to get a roommate if you didn't request someone from your school in the United States. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was very, very excited to see when our lat came running in with no luggage. Oh. And, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's definitely great having a roommate because um, it's just someone it's just like, yeah, but like I said before, it's just more comforting to have someone from the United States you can speak to in English and just, if you're going through something, like just have someone to talk to late in the night, mm -hmm. you know? And plan trips with, because there mm -hmm. are so many instances where we're both, this is our first time both being out of the country, mm -hmm. Yeah. but when it comes to pra traveling and planning trips, I have someone that's like, hey, what do I need to do? Where do I need to go? Mm -hmm. about homestays is that we don't have any chores. But the biggest thing is to be responsible and to give them respect. These people are opening up their home to a total stranger from a whole other country. Although we don't have that many rules and responsibilities, the top rule is to be respectful of their utilities, like the lights and the water. So, my favorite part about being in a homestay is the fact that I feel like I'm a part of a community. I'm starting to see the same faces more and more so I don't feel like a foreigner as much as I did when I first got here and also I can notice how my Spanish is improving. I'm starting to say little phrases just out of habit rather than actually trying to think it up. <laughs> what about you? Um, yeah I like being in a homestay because it's nice to just have a new family because I feel like I'm less homesick being in a homestay because I'm not alone yeah. ever like literally we are never alone here. It's either we have each other home together or our host dad or host mom is here. And, like, I just, if we, like, go on, like, a weekend trip, I, I find myself really missing the, my host family because I'm like, oh, my God, like, what are they doing? Like, they're, like, our new parents kind of thing. Yeah. So, it's, yeah, it's nice being in a homestay and, like, I would suggest being in a homestay. How nervous were you about requesting a homestay? Nervous. I was definitely nervous to meet my new host family because you never really know. You Like, you could get unlucky and get with someone or a family that like doesn't treat you that like how you'd want to be treated but like like Arla has said in past videos that you can always talk to someone and they can get that switched for you i remember they were like really open about the whole um housing process they gave us like videos with students experiences powerpoints with the difference between a home state and an apartment but i remember when i got the notice i was trying to google up these people i couldn't find them mm -hmm. and getting off the flight after losing my luggage the last thing i wanted was a home state i didn't feel comfortable in mm -hmm. and i remember when my host mom came out the door to greet me and i was just like oh she's adorable mm -hmm. and then brooke came flying down the stairs <laughs> so i was like oh i'm not alone <laughs> yeah so, um. definitely it's it's it can be a nerve-wracking experience, very nervous, but just like the whole study abroad experience in itself, just take it with the open mind. Mm -hmm. Agreed, what she said. Even if your homestay is not what you think it is, that's totally fine. Don't be afraid to talk to your housing director to see if you can change or make adjustments or just make sure everything's going well. Homestays are supposed to be the best part of study abroad. In fact, they are. My best advice for anyone staying in a homestay, do not expect it to look like your home back in the States. Nonetheless, it's totally about adaptation. And from this experience, I have a new way of decorating my future home. Like, let me unlock the door. Elfie.